Okay, so how, when you are, have you, do you use rubrics in oral presentations? Mm -hmm. To some extent. To some extent, how do you use them? Like, what do you do? For example, when I, when I'm grading, I kind of go <laughs> somewhere in between where sometimes they're not exactly a three, sometimes they're not exactly a two, so I'll circle the line. <laughs> And then I'll circle the elements in the description that they had. And on the back, I'm like writing notes as they go. What are some other strategies that you use? Actually, our, our reference book in public speaking only gives these criteria and the numbers one, two, three, four, five on the worst presentation and five for the highest level. And uh, the students guess for themselves whether it is uh, good or bad, but I, I find this one more explicit mm -hmm. because it can be very subjective to a point five or three mm -hmm. uh, without explicitly giving the reasons why it is not five mm -hmm. but three. So here all the, uh, all the uh, positions are explained and uh, we can uh, match Presentation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's true. Um, so when you're watching the presentation, what, um, how do you match it? Like, you're just going through, do you, are you ticking, you're circling? Is there anything else that you do with the rubric? Take notes on it, yeah? Give the rubric to students and they video record, have the video record, which is take a piece with the rubrics mm -hmm. and uh, assess themselves or fear whatever, but do it at home. It's a home test. Okay, great. Yeah, absolutely. And we'll get to that, um, how to take it home in um, a few minutes. But I like the idea of having the students also using the rubrics and scoring the other students. Um, because I think, again, it helps them to understand how it's scored and it also helps them to see in more detail and really pay attention to good things mm -hmm. or mistakes that other students have made that they might prefer to avoid or that they might prefer to emulate, right? So that's good. Okay, so those are the tips before jumping. We're going to now do a Pecha Kucha. Um, this is, this will be interesting. So basically, if you're giving me all fours and fives, you're not really paying attention. 